Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Fir, and if you know one thing about particle physics is that the quarks have really strange names, right? I mean, up, down, strange, charm, top, and bottom. What do these names even mean? I mean, is the bottom quark really a bottom? Is the top quark really a top? Yes, what happens is that the name of the quark tells you what kind of energy it has. And to understand this, we are gonna use an example. Here we have a Feynman diagram that shows you the interaction between a top quark and an anti-top quark. Now, when people hear anti-top, they think bottom, but that's not the case. Anti-top is not bottom, it's an anti-top. You know it when you see it. Now, when a top and an anti-top get together, this creates a sort of paradox, right? Because who's gonna be on top? Doesn't make any sense. And so this collapses into a Higgs boson, which later safely decays into two highly energetic twinks, thus resolving the paradox. These two twinks have the exact same energy as the two tops, but since they are twinks, there's no problem, there's no paradox. And the same happens with all the other quarks. So for example, uh, a top and an anti-top, it's really easy to understand what's going on. So uh, an up quark brings the down quark up and the down quark brings the up quark down. And in this way, they keep each other in check. So for example, here, this is actually a proton and this is a neutron. And as you can see, they balance each other in terms of number of up and down quarks. And this is how the nucleus of atoms stays together. Then we have strange and charm. And actually, the strange charm is called that way because it was very unexpected. They were only expecting to find up and down quarks. Uh, but then the strange quark just appeared in the lab one day, just eating all the food, and they were all very confused. Uh, but then the strange, but then the charm quark appeared and explained everything. It was very cordial about it, and everyone laughed, and everything was fine. Uh, and finally, yeah, you have the, the top and bottom quarks. And so, yeah, as you can see, they all have very different kinds of energies, um, and they, but they all work together to form well, the entire universe and everything we know. And so, yeah, that's the meaning of the different names of the quarks.